And now, a first look at the new season of Mama June, Family Crisis. changing transformation. I decided to have the gastric sleeve surgery. Work your arm. She lost almost 300 pounds and really went from not to hot. Y'all done took my breath away. Yeah. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah. Wiggle it in. Come on. Mama was on top of the world. She even got a new boyfriend, Gino, who we all thought was a perfect man for Mama and for our family. I promise I'm going to be here for you. Baby, I love you. I want to thank Gino for being there. You've really helped us out a lot when we need you the most. But Gino wasn't who we thought he was. There are pics of Gino's out there. This could take your entire career down. They say that one is still active, dude. But Gino's going to jail. We all try to get Mama away from Gino. You need to leave him. He's stealing your money. He's cheating on you. But the mental stress, please take off my bracelet, started to affect her physically. <laughs> she goes on and on and on with this that is not true. Josh, what about She's crazy, man. I don't it's know like... about that. June. June. Hey. What? I think we should get you some help. You're having a mini stroke. That can be a concern because eventually it's going to be a big one. No, I'm not going to okay. It's like life or death. She's not wanting to go because Gino doesn't want to go with her. So what? Where are you going? Wait, run. Run, bitch. <laughs> are you <laughs> stupid? Where are you going? <laughs> oh. He obviously doesn't give a <laughs> I have no idea who my mother is anymore. Eventually, things got so bad, Alana had to move in with me and Josh because we were afraid for her safety. This <laughs> does it. Alana won't be coming back for a while. What? She doesn't feel safe staying with you or Gino. You won't be seeing Ella for a minute until you can get your together, and you won't be seeing Alana. You're about to lose everything because of Gina. We had an intervention to get her to rehab. Oh, we don't have intervention, boo. Mama, I am staying with my sister. It's not by choice. Yes, it is. Mama, it's yeah. not by choice. Man? We even bought in Dr. Ish, who specializes in addiction. Let's talk. If Let's you talk. touch me, oh. I hate my I want to kill the person I am now. Please just give them a chance, Mama. I'm going. After three hours, she finally decided to go to rehab. But Gina picked her up 12 hours later, and she bailed on rehab just to spend time with him. And then it got even worse. Mama June Shannon and her boyfriend Gino Doak were arrested in Alabama for possession of a controlled substance. Drugs change your whole perspective. Gino Doak was charged with domestic violence in the third degree. Bystanders say he was threatening June's life. We need the real June to come back to us. But since Mama wasn't coming back anytime soon, me and Josh fought to get temporary custody of Alana. It wasn't easy. I say no. But Jennifer finally gave in. You will come spend time with your daddy every other weekend. This is affecting all of us. We don't know where Mama is, <laughs> but we do still love her. And no matter what, we're still going to do our best to fight for Mama's life. come in between our relationship. And she always told us that we were number one priority and nothing's ever gonna come between us. I just don't know what to think anymore. Like, she did let a man come in between us. Like, I'm mad, I'm upset. Like, 
I'm angry, like I just, I don't know what to think anymore. Ella, eat what's on your plate first. Eat what's on your plate. Alana's trying to stay positive through all this, but I know deep down that she's really hurting. It's been really, really hard, but things happen, and I believe that they happen for a reason. I just say we continue on, happy as we can be, mm -hmm. and just continue to show Alana the right way that you're supposed to live life and not the wrong way. Mm. Oh, honey, I still see powder in some of the shells. Shut up, baby. Even your child's like, what the hell is this? She's eating it just fine. Mm. Mm. Mommy. <sighs> what are you huffing and puffing about? It's just that all my friends are in LA living their best life, and I'm here eating powdery mac and cheese. We already talked about this. I would prefer you just to be a regular kid. We don't even know if you're gonna be in the eighth or ninth grade, so we really need to be more focused on that. Key factor in this is homeschooled by your mother. It's pretty bad. I don't think you learned Mama homeschooled Alana because she was being bullied in public school, but me and Josh think it's better for her to be put back into public school because then that gives her the stability of being a normal kid. It's important, like I didn't finish high school, Josh didn't finish high school. Don't you wanna do something with your life? I mean, do you want to be like Josh cleaning the tank? Booyah. No. It's a job, let me tell you about it. Literally. Who is it? Uh, Who do you think hello? it is? Come on in, take a squat. Yay. It's a pie. It's a pie. You don't get none. If you smile at me again, I'm not going to be able to see for the next three years. I mean, you and them teeth. It's the new and improved There's Dodo. Five. After living with my messed up teeth for 50 years. I deserve this. I didn't want to smile, and I went like this, and people make comments, and now I make people wear sunglasses when I do smile. <laughs> the place is coming together really awesome. Yeah. I think it looks really good. I think you might. Was that good here? I'm really proud of what Pumpkin's doing. She's got a lot on her plate. She's just gotten married. They finally got their own place. You know, they got a new baby. Pumpkin and Josh has stepped up. So now that you're all settled in, has Sugar Bear been around? Or... Well, I mean, you know, we signed that paper. And Jennifer's been nagging my ass every day about Alana. I mean, it's getting old. Oh, well, OK. On my end, anyway. Have you heard anything from your mama? Anything at all? Has she called to? Talk to you She doesn't even answer our phone calls. She goes to voicemail. Gino's phone goes to voicemail. Or they said that all their phones dead and they were sleeping. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's gotten so late at this point. Like, what more is there to do? What more can we physically do for her? I mean, we tried to send her to rehab. The network even gave her, like, the opportunity that anybody in the right <laughs> mind would take. And she checked out within less than 24 hours. And the bad thing about it is, Everything and anything that was in the car or whatever they got arrested for, June took credit for all of it. And because of that, she could literally get years, years. behind bars. Years. I mean, all I know really is that they're still in Alabama. You know, why, go, why come home when they can go to the casino and Gino can spend all the money? Yeah, God knows whatever, whatever else. else. I mean, that's the thing. Like, how much more money are they going to blow through before she's completely broke? There can't be more left. There can't be. Huh. You have a party? Why you look a little hot and bothered? Mama Palmer tied it on my car, so I got repossessed. What? Are you serious? Uh, I mean, uh, if I was playing a joke, where's my keys at? Is her name on it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. How did she do that? I thought she was supposed to have the car at the place when you pawned the title. Don't you have to take pictures there of the There is car no and just stuff? walking in and saying, hey. Well, she's Mama Jean. Oh, that's, that's true. true. Whatever she wants. See, and that's her only thing. That's the only downfall when it comes to her being her is because she slides away with everything. everything. June's name is on Jessica's car because she helped her buy it. That's the sister I know. Let's get real. She helps her kids out. She looks after everybody. Now, if June is doing this to her own kids, this is bad. Yeah, but now we don't even know where she's at. I mean, if it wasn't for social media, let's get real. We wouldn't even know if she was alive. She was seen in some casinos in Alabama, but that's all we know. 
And the guy that towed her car after the arrest was supposedly the last person June talked to. We can't find him either. I mean, I mean, heck, if we can get her tracked down, maybe, you know, you can give her a piece of your mind. I mean, that's the thing. Like, this is how low it's gotten. Mama can give up and walk away and do whatever the hell she wants to do with the family as far as that goes. But us as a whole need to try to keep everything together. I really never thought Mama would do this to us. I don't even know who she is anymore, honestly. Like, we all just want the old mama back, and she's not understanding that. We need to show her that we're doing better for ourselves. Hopefully, as we're going to do better for ourselves, maybe if she sees that, then maybe she'll step up and try to do better for herself. Right. Definitely. You ready to try your first kickboxing lesson? Yes, she's she needs this. Her stress is like here. If Gino wasn't in the picture, June wouldn't be in the situation she's in. Gino's got such a hold on her. He spent all her money. This is not the June I know. Oh my God, my stress level is so through the roof. So Amber has decided that I need stress relief. <laughs> Why I need stress relief? One, two, three. Gino, give us June back. You're a turd. You know, if he had a goiter, he looks just like Gino. Oh, God. Can we switch? Yeah. You need Let's the switch. visualization. Take that. Take that. You jerk. Give June back. Just, just, just. Hey, 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 hey. I have to say, it's been pretty therapeutic. Did you get all your aggression out? Yeah, like this much out. I mean, have you even seen or talked to you? No. June does not want anything to do with me right now. She's pissed about the intervention. She's pissed about the rehab. I'm the mommy figure in her life because our mom wasn't around. I mean, she liked alcohol and men too much to care, and I hate to see the cycle repeating itself with June. I don't know what's going on with her. I mean, she's lost her ever-loving mind. At least she'll have her house to come back to when she decides to screw her head back on straight. That's not going to be anytime soon, though. Yeah. I just wish I could talk to someone who knew what was going on with June. But what about the tow, the tow truck guy? Yeah, if I could figure out who he was. It's in the article. Uh, oh my gosh, I gotta do everything. The tow truck driver is the one who towed June's Suburban away when they were arrested, and he's probably the last person who has seen her. Um, oh my God, this one says he was killed. What do you mean? What? He was murdered. Who? The tow truck driver. Looks like he was shot and killed recently. So she's hanging in an area where people just get murdered. To me, it sounds like that, that's the rough part of town. Like, she doesn't even need to be in Alabama. And this is it. I, I've had enough. I need to probably go to Alabama and get her. Are you serious, June? You're somewhere where people are literally getting murdered that you've had contact with. This is crazy. I mean, how the heck are you even going to find her in Alabama? What happens if I don't go? And we get the phone call. And all I had to do was go there and get her. It beats her being dead. How the hell am I going to live with myself then? To know that I could have stopped something, maybe. Coming up on Mama June from Not to High, the tow truck driver got shot and is dead. June is not in a safe place. I need to go over there. And Gino don't run with the crowd like you're used to running with. Why don't you guys come to California for a couple weeks? What are you going to tell old Sugar Bear? Not a damn thing. I'm not the best at keeping secrets. What's your plan for the summer? Let's go do this. I know Big Mike doesn't want me to go because it's too dangerous, but I don't care. Ain't nobody going to stop me. Is that police? Don't miss the new season of Mama June, Family Crisis, Friday, March 27th at 9 on WeTV.